Welcome to the Top 10 Garden Show with Ken Lane. Listen to Ken's tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts guaranteed to make your gardens more beautiful than ever this year. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. So we have sold out of Christmas cactus, poinsettias, amaryllis, all those holiday plants. And so there's there's open open benches, open there's the inside of the store where all the houseplant tropicals are. It's looking barren. So we've got new houseplants arriving January, I think second or third, the first week in, in January of the new year. And so I thought I'd go over how to design with houseplants. Your 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 space when you take that tree out to the holiday plants, you can take some of the decor out of there. Um, it's gonna feel naked. Like, I wish I had more. I missed that season. Houseplants naturally fill that. And so they're they're healthier for you. They release oxygen, take take dirt out, take all the, the new benzenes and nasty chemicals that come with those all those gifts that came from China or whatever. So maybe that's not quite fair, but there are a lot of things. They, they preserve these things uh, with anti-flammatory, all kinds of stuff. Uh, anti-flames, not inflammatory. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> houseplants help you with that. And so they're to real benefit. The general rule is have one eight inch, now this is the designer thing, have an eight inch houseplant for a small room, say a bedroom, a, a dining, a, a den, uh, an office, and have a larger floor plant size plant. This is a bigger plant for a, live, a big living room, uh, family room, theaters, that kind of stuff. So that's a general, you can have more, but generally you need about one per smaller space. That's what does all the good, the oxygen, the cleaning the air, that kind of stuff. And so that would go over just kind of the top, easiest to grow, not really in order of ease of care, or most popular, but these are the most popular ones. And Croton's the number one. So that's, uh, Croton's got a great big leaf. This this plant gets quite large to be a, a, a large floor plant or a supersized, it does really, it looks really good in a plant stand, larger glazed pot. It's got big leaves and it's bright and shiny. It's got golds and reds and pinks to it. It's got a lot of character to it. Big, it just screams, I'm a tropical and I love growing inside your house. This would be one that's be more for uh, a larger room. So like a, a living room space, perfect for that. ZZ plants, a ZZ, like Z is in Z, a plant. This is a succulent, basically. We use this one, it's so robust. We use it often in commercial settings. So if you got a law office, or just maybe or may or may not get neglected, you just forgot to water it, a ZZ plant's going to easily thrive in that. So if you just want easy care or you travel, you RV a lot, you got a brand new class B minivan, you're going to drive an RV around the country for this coming spring. ZZ plants are for you because when you get back from that month long road trip, it's still going to be alive. And so ZZs are great. So they got this rich green, just rows of rich green, glossy leaves. It just screams healthy and they live forever. They're just great, easy to grow plants. Very healthy for you. A money plant. Money plants, you know, they get all the hype. I don't, they're pretty, they're braided branches, that kind of stuff, big green leaves. Uh, they're a little harder to grow. Now, they're big, tall plants, so all frequently too big for a lot of spaces, but it's a good plant. So money plants get, I think, more hype. I think there's better choices, possibly. But money plants are on there. Peace lilies, that's when you're going to find a lot coming up in the Easter season. So kind of late winter, early spring, peace plants or peace lilies, great, big, supple leaves, very soft. It can get up, oh, pretty easily uh, hip high. But its claim to fame is it's got that big white flower that blooms about when Easter arrives. And that's, that's the name, peace lilies. Uh, but very healthy. It provides a lot of oxygen, a lot of benefits for the environment. That room that it's actually in, you'll feel it. You'll feel better about it. And it just likes being touched and talked to. It's one of those kind of plants. And so ferns, all ferns. Now, I'd written an article on, on the top 10 and maidenhair ferns, but I find any fern 
does well. And ferns are good in that. They're better in the darker, darker rooms, like a bathroom that's north facing. You don't have as many windows. All your windows, you're looking out over the dells to the north. Uh, so it doesn't get as much sun in that area. Ferns do fantastic in those kind of areas. They do really well as a, as a tabletop because uh, they're smaller, generally speaking. They can get quite large. You can hang them up in places like a kitchen or something. But generally, when they start, they're slow growing. They're kind of start smaller. But ferns, all your ferns are very, very easy to grow if you don't put too much sun on them. They're not going to like that south-facing window, but any other part of the house, they're going to love that. And they take a lot of humidity. So they're really good in bathrooms, places where there's a lot of moisture that seem, seems to hang out there. They'll actually absorb some of that moisture and dry out the room some. They're going to use it to their benefit. You won't have to water very much because it's always in that, that bathroom that's being used. So perfect for that. And they're as cute as can be, especially in guest rooms, that kind of stuff. They just they just scream welcome. I'm glad you're staying with us. So uh, creeping figs. It's kind of, how do you describe a fig? It's got a fig-shaped leaf. So it's more like a size of a, of a silver dollar. They don't even make such a thing, do they anymore? So anyway, it's about the size of a golf ball. How about that? So only flat. <laughs> and they tend to run and creep. So it's kind of like a pothos. I think that's on, that's on the list too. But much smaller leaves. The leaves are half the size. But they're just rich and green and healthy and easy to grow. Great for tabletops, uh, shelves, uh, up in the, uh, in, the, in the kitchen where you want it to flow down over a shelf or something super healthy, super easy to grow. So creeping figs are really good, mainly inside. Some of these can also be outside when it's not freezing. So these are all tropical plants. So they're from the tropical forest. They don't like cold. They like it. If you're comfortable, they're comfortable. But during the during the summer, yeah, you're comfortable all the time. Put them right out there on the, on the back deck, the back patio. They'll thrive out there. They'll probably do even better. Pothos is, is another one. Pothos, I think, is that an introductory houseplant for folks. It's it's very affordable, grows really fast, and it's it's just kind of easy to care for, easy to grow. It can get too big, too aggressive sometimes, so it tends to get these big, long tendrils. These these are the ones where the, where someone says, "Oh, look, I grew this pothos, this houseplant, and it grew around the room." They just like tacked it up around the room. That's a pothos. I don't let mine grow that way. I tend to cut it back. I don't let those long tendrils go. I want it to get full and plump instead of long and leggy. And just by pruning it every once in a while, it gets thicker and fuller. Or this is where they use those moss poles. They'll actually stick a pole in the pot where the pothos is growing, and they'll tie it to this pole to give it more of an upright, kind of thicker, fuller feel to it. So that's a, that's a classic for that one. Philodendron is another one that you, you can do that with. Uh, Philodendron and uh, ivy. Put the moss pole in the middle, put English ivy and just let it run up that. You can either let it run free over and hang down to things, or you can train it to grow up a moss pole. And we've got some really funky, fun, different poles you can use. Not just a stake. It's not just a green, like, metal stake. We're talking something more luscious, full, designer-esque. For, for for plants. So is this thing, you're going to be living with this for years. You want it to look nice. And so ivies, pothos, philodendrums, these are all these, you can let them grow sideways and down and drape and droops and kind of flow over, over things, or you can train them to be more upright. Another one, you're going to find a, a, tr a tricky one uh, right now because the days have gotten short. Uh, figs, so uh, uh, ficus, ficus trees. So sometimes they come braided, but it's a tree. Typically, they can grow up easily, hip to, to head high inside. They grow outdoors to full on trees down in Phoenix. Up here, we use them as house plants. But right now, you'll notice they're dropping some leaves. And saying, well, what's going on? What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. It's all the days have gotten so short. This plant loves the sun. And so the days have gotten so short, it's going, okay, not enough sun to keep me going. I'm gonna, they're just crybabies. If the, if, the, if the weather changes, they're going to drop leaves. So generally, I don't like ficus as much. I'd rather have a fiddly leaf fig or uh, a corn plant, dracaena, because they're less 
crybaby. They're, they're less whiny like that. But if you got a few leaves dropping, that's fine. Just keep it going. The days will get longer at this point, and it'll get happier. That's it for this segment. The house plants you can grow for a healthier new year. Hi, Lisa here with the Plants of the Week and our Arizona Gold Euonymus. An excellent choice for colored hedges and as tough as they come. This evergreen displays bold gold, head-high foliage that grows even thicker when sheared. A single shrub makes a bold statement, but in rows they make excellent visual and sound barriers. Waters Garden Center, 1815 Iron Springs Road in Prescott. For people who love bold gold hedges, they love to shop. You're listening to garden expert, Ken Lane. He can be found throughout the week at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Thanks for tuning in to the Top 10 Garden Shows. 